Welcome sa Sipnoin.com. In this video ay mag-aaral tayo kung paano ba mag-add ng integers using the number line. So para maintindihan natin tong strategy na ito, uh, ang pinaka-basic principle dito is we can think of the numbers as movement on the number line. So we can think of positive 3 for example as uh, movement from 0 to positive 3 or yung 3 units to the right. And we can think of negative 2, for example, as a movement to negative 2 from the origin or 2 units to the left. No? So yun yung pinaka-principle natin. Pag positive is a movement to the right, at pag negative is a movement to the left. Okay? So let's have the first example. What is positive 3 and... What is positive 3 plus positive 2? So, pag positive 3 is a movement from the origin, okay, ito yung origin natin, is a movement 3 units to the right. So, this is positive 3. No? And then, saan tayong huminto? Sa 3. If we make another movement, the second movement is positive 2, ibig sabihin, we still have to move 2 units to the right. So from here, from, from 3, or from positive 3, we move 2 units to the right. Okay. So this is positive 2. So the movement, which is 3 units to the right, and another movement, which is 2 units to the right again, is the same as the movement from 0 up to 5. So, hindi, hindi ko ma-straight ito. Mahirap mag-drawing dito sa ating ano, no? So, this is the same as moving from 0 to positive 5, which is, it means, or which means that positive 3 plus positive 2 equals positive 5. Okay? Let's have the second example. So, dito naman sa second example natin, pareho namang negative, no? So, what do we mean by negative 4? It's a movement from 0 up to negative 4. So, sorry. So, from, zero, from negative 4 or from 0 to negative 4. So, pag ganito siya. This is negative 4. And then, from negative 4, another 1 unit to the left. Which means ito yung negative 1 natin. So from negative 4, we move to the left. Another 1 unit. So this is negative 1. So sana yung ngayon siya huling huminto. Huminto siya sa negative 5, which means that these two movements... It's the same as moving from 0 up to negative 5. Okay? So this is the same as move, moving from 0 to negative 5. So ibig sabihin, negative 4 plus negative 1 is negative 5. So before we proceed, ano napapansin ninyo? Pag parehong positive, ang sagot ay positive. Ina-add lang nila, no? And then plus parehong negative, i-add lang nyo, and then sagot is negative. This makes sense, di ba? Kasi parehong direction yung pupuntahan nila, ibig sabihin i-add nyo lang yung, uh, yung movement, no? So, also, in, in number one, we are adding positive integers, which means na yung positive integers na ito, ito yung mga pag-aralan natin number simula ng elementary, no? Ibig sabihin, positive 3 plus positive 2 is just the same as 3 plus 2, which of course is equal to 5. So, pareho sila. Pag parehong positive, wala tayong problema. Pag parehong negative, wala tayong problema. Ngayon, tignan natin pag magkaiba yung sign kung ano mangyayari. No? So, let's have the first example. What is positive 5 plus negative 2? So again, positive 5 is a movement, katulad nito dito, is a movement from, 
from 0 to positive 5. So, pwede ko nang kopyahin ito. No? And then, I put it here. Okay. And then, what happened is after positive 5, magkaroon ka ng another movement, which is negative 2, which means that to the left naman siya. 2 units to the left. So, saan ka magsisimula kung saan ka huminto? Dito ako huminto sa 5, positive 5. So, we have 2 units to the left. Ang tanong, sana tayo ngayon huminto? This is negative 2. No? So, huminto na tayo sa positive 3. No? May, may, medyo hindi siya tapat. Ano? But, uh, this is actually, or obviously, positive 3. So, ibig sabihin, the movement, which is 5 to the right and then 2 to the left, is equal to 3 to the right. Okay, ibahin natin yung kulay. This is 3 to the right. Ibig sabihin, ang ating sagot dito ay positive 3. Next, what about in number 4? Okay, so sa number 4 naman, copy na natin ng number line dito. Sa number 4, ang una naman ay negative. So from 0, medyo kulang tayo ng ano, ano, number Kulang tayo ng number dito. Mag-extend tayo ng konti dito. So, we have here. We extend. And this is... Sabi natin, ito na yung negative 6 natin. So, from 0 to negative 6. From 0 up to negative 6. Okay. And then... This is negative 6. And then from there, kakanan tayo ng tatlo. No? So, positive 3. So, from negative 6, we have positive 3. So, 6, 5 is 1, and then 4 is 2, and then three, negative 3 is 3. Sorry, negative 5 is 1, negative 4 is 2, and negative 3 is 3. So, this is positive 3. Saan tayo minto ngayon? This is the same as moving from 0 up to negative 3. Okay? So, nakikita nyo ba yung pattern? This is negative 3. So, ang sagot dito ay negative 3. Okay? So, nag-conclude na tayo dito sa 1 and 2. Ano? So, ano napapansin nyo dun sa 3 and 4. Sa 5, kumanan siya ng 5 and then kumaliwa siya ng 2. So, obviously, nandun pa rin siya sa positive kasi lima yung pakanan mo eh. ba? And then, dalawa lang yung pakaliwa mo. Kaya, ang magiging sagot mo, syempre, is positive, no? Doon naman sa pangatlo or sa pangapat, the, the fourth question, ay nag-negative 6 ka naman doon sa Kaliwa, and then nag-positive 3 ka pa kanan. So, obviously, nandun ka pa rin sa negative. Diba? Kasi hindi mo naman nilagpasan yung pagbalik mo. So, negative 3 pa rin. So, kung mapapansin ninyo kung alin yung mas malaking movement, yun yung sign niya. No? So, dito mas malaking movement na positive going to the right. And then, mas malaking movement yung sa kaliwa. And then, uh, kaya naging negative 3 yung kanyang answer. Okay, so I hope nakita nyo yung pattern na yan, ano? Para masagutan yung susunod na mga exercises natin. So magkakaroon tayo ng exercises, i-click nyo lang yung link sa baba. Maraming salamat and see you in the next tutorial.